And we have returned for cat quest. Um, let me just look for a minute. Sorry, it's just I need to adjust my on-air sign because, see, my parents, they, um, sometimes my parents walk into the, o in the, in the office when I'm recording and I don't want them to interrupt, so I made my, so I made myself an on-air sign, so. But it's just a little signing throw, and I got some new followers, and they're pretty kinky. I know, they're, they're hot. We get it. Hmm? Who are these guys? We're here to Thugs! Damn, I come here. Shit! Okay, we'll have to introduce these uh, these people later. Hang on. Um, or we can just kick their asses with that sword. Oh, oh, it looks like they took she took down one of the one of the thugs. Yeah, I use the, uh, shrine, the, uh, familiar faces mod to add some of my previous characters as followers. I just made some sexy characters and put them in as followers. Hang on, let's, let's see here. Uh, steel armor versus 35, 35, oh. Yeah, see, the ones I have, I've been, I have some new followers, there's there's Queen Nerefti, I guess, I don't know. What are you? Ramanea the Unliving, Mistress of the Woods. If you saw my Left for Skyrim pirate, pilot, you may, ha may have heard that Ramanea name. If you saw it, and um, yeah, see, I had a, a completely good idea for a backstory, and yes, I know Ram she's naked, but her hair her hair is covering her breasts, so yeah. So, but you seem we, we, and we'll we have to report to uh, yar to the Yara right now. So what happens is, um, also, see, her hair, um, and the idea was, as a role-playing at, if she, and once she, she completed, once she, like, came in contact with the Ritual Stone, her appearance would change, and then once she came, once she completed the Undead, Undeath quest line, once, when a mod quest mod I added, she would, uh, she would look like kind of some undead character, and Ramane is actually supposed to be an anagram of Amonet, though that, the main antagonist from the, from the mummy, Tom Cruise the mummy, and yes, I know that movie didn't do too well, but it's kind of one of my guilty pleasures. So, yeah, it's one of my guilty pleasures, that movie. And no, it's not because of Amonet's boobs. Get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, it is partially because of how hot she is, but it's also just... Okay, it's just any at least it's just I don't know the thing is I've always wanted to get into the dark universe, but the, the, I, I'm I'm too lazy to troll to search through, search around to find movies from the '30s or the Brendan Fraser stuff. But I'll have to take a look at it. It looks pretty funny. Like I saw a clip of it, and he just and he just stares at the mummy, and then he, a mummy and just screams and just blows its head off with a shotgun. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on your relief, but there must be more to it than that. Okay, um, yeah, 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 I know that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? <clears throat> so it's true. <clears throat> Greybeards really were summoning you. Cool. Now, if you, you've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Mm-hmm. By my right is Yara. And the thing. I, sh I have to get, like, the unique gang weapons mod soon. My power to I assign you Lydia as a personal mm -hmm. house card. Lydia. I'll and I still need to find out where Rigmore went. To serve as your badge I'll go back to um, Angie's I'll camp to find her. i my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common I'm rabble, getting her very worried. We are honored to have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Okay, I'm gonna look at that contact right now. Contact. Echo Light Jensen. I have a feeling that's from Rigmar Bruma, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have to put on the backpack. Nice. Now I have, like, a backpack. Let's increase my carrying capacity. And yes, all these characters are marryable, and uh, I'll explain all this crap later. And there she is, in all of her glory. Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an lead the way. Okay, I'm gonna save just to make Lydia look better. 
know. Oh, wait. There we go. I'm, I'm, yeah, because I'm going to use the alternate actors mod and then show, use the show race menu thing. Oh my god, why is Lydia huge? That's, uh, strange. Let me show ya. Let me see here. I think it's for, I think it's because of, like, I was using the preset for Ramanea, I guess. So, yeah. There we go. Put her at normal height, and for some reason her skin tone looks different for some reason. That's weird. Give her like stripes like a Khajiit. For some reason. Um, make her skin tone de different. Why does she have so much dirt on her face? Okay. Trying to change the weight. Oh, there we go. Head. Dirt. Looks like I can't. Looks like I have to keep the dirt on her. Give her some more paint. Hmm, that looks nice. That's nice. Base. Eyes. It's more like an elf. It looks like elf eyes. There's so many eyes colors I can choose some because I have the eyes of Abermod. Uh, I like eyes from from uh, Naruto. Okay. uh... Eyes look best on her. Ooh, those blue eyes look very nice, so we'll do that. Um, mm-hmm. Looks more like war paint on her. Than anything really. Strange. Uh, alpha eyes type, eyelid open, eye size. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mouth, gonna give her the lip color. That's not, that's a, that's, that's weird. Give her some nice hair. Save that preset. Wait, no, cancel, cancel. I'm gonna just call it Lydia. Okay. Done. She's 
She looks a lot better. That's for sure. Now, where's me? Hmm, for some reason, I now have gray skin. I have gray fur, anyway. Alright. Let's go back to regular me. I'm just hoping nothing goes wrong. Because that has happened before. She definitely looks better. I'm right behind you. Oh, great white dog is barking. Are you feeling all right? I'm angry. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I still have. But I thought I went to the Temple of Kim. I'll have to go back down to Arcadia's Cauldron. See if I see if she has any cure disease potions. I don't know if that if that's a, a case or something. Three in the afternoon. Okay, got four hundred and two gold. Okay, I'm gonna tr fast travel to. Uh, Looking for my husband. I'm gonna tr fast travel to the uh, to, to Angie's camp. See if Rigmore's there. See if I lost her. I ain't done. Nothing of our struggles, our sufferings. <sighs> Pardon me. She always says so that. You're interested in my potions and ingredients? Right, give me the uh see if she has any curious potions. Yes, she has one. Okay. Drink up. Anytime, if you need a remedy. Let's see. Yep. My disease has been cured. And, and here are all my homies. The Queen, Dry Addy, K, Mistress of the Woods, Lydia. I definitely made it look better. That's for sure. What, what are you doing, Arcadia? I'm, I'm thinking of, and I do have a mod called. Or like marriages to have hold something that changes the marriage system up a bit. I don't know. I think they even want to have weird multiple marriages because like Skyrim, Lord, I don't know, whatever. Oh, it's a, it's a puppies following me, huh? Hmm, that's cute. Um, let's fast travel to uh, to An back to Angie's. <clears throat> I think something's wrong. I still have to go to Stony Creek Cave. Alright, back to Angie's. See if Rigmore's there. <clears throat> I would play as an Argonian if they weren't so goddamn ugly, so... I know, uh, I don't know, just, they just look weird. I just don't like playing as Argonians. I don't play as certain characters for stats, I just play as a character just because of the way they look, their backstory and stuff. I mean like whoever uh, Yep, Rigmore is here. Angie. Think you might be in the wrong place. Rigmore. Try anything stupid. Rigmore, Rigmore. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a swap. I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be <clears throat> around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem. Not yeah, me. all my fault. Mm, Ronnie is walking away. Two imperial drugs who thought they were above the law. Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. I. Read more. Fucking move. Yes. Until next time. You know what? To make sure I know a good place.
Rigmore, I'm gonna have her join my guild. I think I kicked her out because of some Excellent. weird glitches. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. <sighs> Until You're next the best. time. Can you be my father? Of course. Excellent. <sighs> I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Need what do you want, Kat? I've got your back. Of course. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Huh? What is it, Angie? Mm. <clears throat> well, anyways, let's uh, let's keep moving. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of where to go. Chest. I don't know. When I fast traveled there. I just found myself in a in a weird empty void for some reason. There's my, there's my guild place. Um, uh, hmm. I don't want to go up to the graveyard just yet. I don't want to do that now, just now. So um, let's go to. Let's go to the back. I think I should do, go do that. But um, I'm thinking of joining the Dark Brotherhood soon. So yeah. Because, um, the 20,000 payday. At the end of the quest line, that is, but whatever, uh. I also just need to make some gold. I also want to join the companions, too. Some of these other short sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Mm -hmm. I killed a lot of high elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me worry. The Great War. There was <coughs> nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. Where did it get us? Mm, right. Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Alfred's uprising? <clears throat> and another war. Mm. Safe journey, sword brother. Uh, Brunwolf's house. What time is it? It's three in the afternoon. There's Aventus's place. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimba. Always with the nonsense. Here we go. Of course not. Those are just tales. I'm wiping their brow like it's hot out here, you know it's like snowing. No child. Wait! That boy. That house. They are cursed. Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. Okay, well, maybe instead of going here, we'll go to. This abandoned house, but that's for the Voidwalkers quest mo quest line. So, but I still want to go. But I, I just want to go to Rift and kill Grelod, because I don't want to sit through that, through that whole. Uh, I don't want to sit through that dialogue thing with Aventus. So, 
Yeah. Please say him. this isn't... Oh, okay, we're good. Bend house. Avoid walkers. I don't know about this. I'll just sleep in the bed. Enemies aren't... Oh, shit. I guess that's what they mean by enemies! Dragon! Oh man, she's- oh man! She's going at it! Oh, what the? Burn! Ha <laughs> Alright, Queen. The Queen. What do you want me to I need you to carry all this stuff. Even though I do want to show you guys a cool little way to get to Iverstead a little faster. So it's near the, uh, it's a little small passage near the White Run Stormcloak camp. It's just so that way you don't have to go all the way around, go through Wind Hunt, go through East March, and, that, and, that, and all that crap. a little town up ahead called Blackthorn. We're going to uh, check it out. Yeah. No, I don't think that's the way. I don't think a, a, a village would be located on a, path, on a little path, like, on, a, on a tiny little dirt path. Hmm? hmm? Left of it. 
town of Black Farm used to be a small farming town until a recent dragon f attack left this village destroyed in the dragon's wake. Most of the town citizens either died while fighting the mighty beast or fled for their lives to nearby Riften, which left the town unoccupied. It wasn't until a recent death in the family that Grace and I obtained this land through inheritance from my father, from my father-in-law, and we decided to move here, clean the place up the best we could, and build a small shop to run together on the land he owned and was passed down. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, it looks like uh, yeah, we'll have to suffer through the Windows Cursor of Doom. Anyways, I'm... Oh, here we go. However, since Grace and I don't have the funds to do much with the land, and the shop isn't having much business, we have decided to relinquish our ownership. Someone that has the funds to build the town back to its full potential. <clears throat> and draw more traffic to this once great little ta farm town. If you have the gold, you can begin rebuilding Blackthorn at this workbench to unlock all the build options at the interior workbenches for each b building by rebuilding Blackthorn. Have the opportunity to collect income from all the various shops, houses, and mine along with the land to build your very own place to call home. Here's less supplies you'll need to furnish the new home in yours and build ones. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried that this won't work. Nope, it doesn't work. Because of weird corruptions, I guess. Oh, Winston and Grace. Oh, did you need some? Take a look. It looks like the only thing we can get out of this is buying stuff from them, unfortunately. Because you see... I, I gotta get some, this mod called Skyrim Save Game Script Cleaner. And, uh, so anything that involves, like, building a house or something, we, we can't do until I find out how to install mods manually. Unless I do know, but I, I, I'm st I, have, I still have problems. Because installing it, it like, uh, you see, I, I can't, I don't, I don't know how to use WinRAR, so I'll have to have my dad help and stuff, so. house. We can take all of this. <laughs> We're building supplies. Oh. Huh. Great bread, salt piles. I don't need any of this, really. So I'm gonna get a mod once I find out how to install mods mainly called Skyrim Save Game Script Cleaner, so that way I can actually ride horses. I just don't know when that will be. Huh? Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with the uh -huh. business. Uh-huh. You guys just tell me to fuck off. Maybe I'll make a mod someday called the Innocent Crimes Mod, which, like, will do what's known as, like, well, uh, such as attacking Imperial, attack, like, say you join the Stormcloaks for the Civil War, and you see an Imperial patrol and you attack them, but you get a bounty for some reason. So, why? Why do you get a bounty? Even though they're on the enemy side, so... What I would, what I will do, maybe, maybe I'll make a, just a small mod, something called Storm, called Stormcloaks vs. Imperials. Essentially what that is, is just a small tweak to the Civil War. Things, see, after you complete the Civil War, if you are on the side of, if you, if the Imperials want it, then Stormcloak patrols will attack you. And if you are on the, uh, Stormcloak side, Imperial patrols will attack you. Because even after the, you complete the Civil War, um... You can still find Imperial and Stormcloak patrols. <gasps> Werewolves! Where 
werewolf! Ow. Who just shot me? Werewolf pelt. Keep the silver hand. This, I just killed a I helped you kill a werewolf, you idiot. But if you insist, I'll gladly kill you. Dead. Not a big surprise. Eh, I can't go back into first person, unfortunately. Uh, that happens after I do the thingy. You know? So I have to fix this corruption soon. Because whenever I start recording, it says the save game will blah 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 and corrupted and stuff. So it, it, I'll have to get this mod I saw off the Nexus called Skyrim Save Game Script Cleaner. But all that does, it's supposed to prevent corruptions by cleaning your save games and stuff. But unfortunately, you can only install it manually and not through the, the mod manager. And I, that's the only way I know how to install Skyrim mods from the manager. So. I'll have to find out how to properly install it. So, yeah. It's bad. Ish bad. Seems to only happen when it comes to riding horses, crafting, and um, other stuff. Maybe I'll like go on Yahoo Answers, or maybe try and see if I can find, find out what to do on Reddit. I know what my school is... Uh, my school strikes again when it comes to being making me angry, because what happened was they banned uh, they ban they didn't allow us to use Twitter at school. See what I do is uh, on the computer when I go on my get to go on like a break or something, I, I usually post like memes on my Twitter. But unfortunately, m my teacher saw like a, something a post I did that had some swearing in it, and then he just like, and yes, I know I was doing it at school, but yeah, jokes on them, cause I did it in secret. <laughs> well, I guess what I'll have to do is, yeah, I have to like make posts on right. Um, I'll also make posts on stuff like Reddit. So I guess the only other social media I'll probably use at school will be Reddit. I'll probably try and use Reddit maybe. Maybe my homies could hang out on Reddit. Maybe I'll go on like uh, maybe I'll see if there's like such a thing as like a Skyrim subreddit because that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna ask them about the problems, and I'm gonna show a link to the YouTube video. And I'm also gonna put it put it on like a make a Steam post about it. And yes, I um, I kind of see this this game as being moderately moderate modded. It's not like I have like five thousand mods or anything. I just have like less than a hundred. Come on. Okay, looks like we'll have to walk up the 7,000 steps in third person. Unfortunately. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clinic? Not today. I'm just not ready to make it. Passing through on your way up. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things mm -hmm. that keep fresh for a long time. The graybeards uh -huh. tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Mm-hmm. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Mm -hmm. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But we'll have to go up to the graveyards next episode because I just want to go and kill the, the leader of Stone of Stony of uh of that cave. This one, Stony Creek Cave. So the closest um we have there is. Ingle Stormblades camp. I'm pretty 
sure. There's like some kind of new vendor in Iverstead who sells these things. Thing, the stuff you need, the tools you need for the Riverside Shack mod, but I don't think I saw him, so I'll have to look into the newest version or something. I'll have to look into it. You know? Maybe they moved him to like a different town, or maybe he's, maybe there's uh, some other stuff, I don't know. Mm, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, nope, not there. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. We can go back into first person now. Guess we'll have to go to the Ingle Stormbleeds camp. Just before. I am gonna change, try and see if I can change my character's fur color back. Because uh, something happened when I was editing the way Lydia looks, so... Swifty, can I get Swifty in here? Can I get Swifty? Uh oh, it's time to get Swifty. Hmm. You know what? Originally for this series, I was gonna name like my character for Cat Quest something funny. Like I would probably, I would, I wanted to name him like Skitty after like the Pokemon or Tiger Millionaire from like that episode of Steven Universe. My friend Ben loves that show and I love it too and I actually know that there's uh, going to be a new new episode or something or new season or whatever in April. So that's good to know. But yes. likely the new episodes will just be shoved in, shoved in front of some Teen Titans Go dumbasses at Cartoon Network. And just because TV is dying, okay whatever, um, just because uh, little camp over here. I see a weird camp symbol on the map. And we gotta get to Stony Creek. Kill the leader of Stony Creek Cave. And I'll probably just kill Crowlot off camera. What's this place? Hot Spring Camp. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. At all. Nothing. I don't know what mod that's from. But, it's a little weird. You may remember this from like the second sort of iteration of Cat Quest, right? Yeah. This gives me just waking up at Steam Crag camp and stuff. No, no, whatever. Uh, hmm. Cheat? No, no, not really caring much of interest. But this chest might have something of interest. And I don't really see Lockpick Pro as a cheat. I just use it, okay? Respect me. Live and let live, motherfucker. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. Uh,. They don't stop running, they don't stop running. Oh. Oh, so it's all the way up there. Okay. It's gonna be a long trek. Shrek rhymes with Shrek. Shrek memes funny. Push, push the cart. You know I'm thinking of getting this mod called hand cart. It allows you to have your own, pull your own little cart around. But since you have to interact with it, kind of like a horse, but not exactly. Maybe it has to be the case. Oh shit! A snake! Oh shit! Am I going to die? Hope not. But I'm pretty sure my my homies are gonna take care of him. Yeah, snake, kill a snake. Sorry. Snake tail. 
poison. This is the snake. I, I don't know what mod. I can't remember which mod this is from. You must have Ebola to do the way. Okay, then I do not want to know the way. He does not want to know the way. Spit on the number lever, boys. Okay, I don't really know what's with you, Gunner Knuckles. Is the meme dead? Is it still alive? I, I don't know. I don't, don't make your own decisions and not leave your decisions up to YouTubers. Like... When PewDiePie said, you gone the Knuckles meme is dead. Everyone's like, okay, the meme is dead. Make your own decisions. Ah! Jesus! Oh, they brought him down. I think we might have to take care of the, the, the dudes up in Stony Creek Cave next episode. And I'm gonna get rid of these practice arrows. Boom. Hmm. There's a mammoth camp. There's another camp sites up here. You must have Ebola to know the way. Whatever. Uh, here we are. Stony Creek Cave. Look, cave. An exciting place to venture if you know what. What's that? Here we are. Stony Creek Cave. Sneak in. Once we uh, defeat the leader and then I'll end the episode. I just hope my followers don't blow my cover. Huh? Banditos, banditos. Where are the banditos? Ah, hello. Oh, hello there! to that little endeavor but luckily I'll get I'll probably just go and get that mod that adds the uh the, the you know the, the thing with uh that adds like quest markers for the unusual gem. Finn's loot. Hmm. Orcish Sword of Frost. That's pretty that's pretty nice good looking. I have to stack up to my uh to the war pick. Hmm. I'll give it to, uh, I'll give it to, um, I'll give the sword to, no, I don't want to give it to her. Hmm, I'll give it to, to, to Queen. What do you want me to carry? Alright, Queen, the Queen. Take this. I 
find her. Where's Lydia? Where's Lydia run off to? Aww. We're gonna fully clear up the cave, kill the, the two other bandits up at the little area. I've got you now. Oh, I guess there's only one bandit here. Moonstone. Ba 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 ba. All right. All right, that'll have to do for today, everyone. But I'll see you guys later in my next episode. Goodbye.